Elizabeth and I'm a certified personal trainer and nutritionist and today I have a dynamic yoga workout or their dynamic exercise or basically their two yoga poses together in a dynamic movement or a transition and they're done as repetitions and this is to challenge the flexibility, the balance, and the strength. So it doesn't include a warm-up or cool down because of the stretching and toning aspects of it. So this could be suitable for an active recovery workout, um, or it could be used as a warm-up, or you could mix it in with other kinds of workouts. Very versatile. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to help contribute, you can go to my channel page, and in the about, there's a link for donations. Before we begin, I have a spirit lifter to share with you. It says, everyone has a right to live the way he wants to live, and so do I. And I like this because, um, Sometimes people get divided over things like politics and religion and they think that they're right and another person's wrong and the fact is that you can only control yourself, you cannot control other people and all you really do is stress yourself out when you try to tell people that they should believe what you do. And so another thing is that when other people press their views on you, you don't want to get irritated. Even if they're purposely trying to irritate you. That's just the thing. So if they are purposely trying to irritate you and you don't get irritated, you don't get pulled down into their level. And so sometimes people do this unintentionally. Sometimes people um, are very critical and they want to constantly find flaws in other people. and those people, um, they're not well liked. Um, if they do that continuously to a bunch of people, even though some people might be polite and tolerate it, um, they won't think of that person as a nice person. And seldom ever is it a compliment to be called rude or critical or mean. So, uh, with that being said, we can begin our workout. The first thing that we have is a Shiva's Vigorous Cycle of Life to a warrior three. So this is going to challenge the balance in the legs and the intrinsic core and it's also going to stretch along the side of the body. So you're going to place your fingers above your head. This is your Shiva's Vigorous Cycle of Life. So from here, like this, and then you're going to go right in to your warrior three. And we're going to do this five times on each side. to our next exercise, which is going to be a warrior three to a dancer. So then you go into a warrior three, and then your dancer. So we're going to do six on each side, and this is going to challenge the balance and the flexibility.
we have is a crescent lunge to a triangle. So this is going to stretch the hip flexor and the hamstrings, and it's also going to mildly tone the legs in the crescent lunge. So you're going to do your crescent lunge, and then straighten your leg, and fold. So we're going to do six on each side. to our next exercise, which is a tree to a heel stretch. This is going to challenge balance and flexibility again. So we're going to do your tree, and then bring your leg up. So we're going to do five on each side. to our next exercise, which is a pigeon to a spinal twist. So you're out your pigeon. This is primarily focused on flexibility. Then you're going to swing your back leg around and twist. So do that for five on each side. thing that we have is a side angle with a fan the flame. So you're going to get into your side angle and then you're going to rotate your hand back and around. So we're going to do this for eight and then switch. to do a seated fold to a reclined twist. So we're going to fold, lay down, and recline 
and twist. So we're gonna do this alternating sides for 10. thing that we have is completely for the shoulders. So we're going to do an FMS stress stretch <laughs> to a reverse prayer. So an FMS stretch is like this and it chests the internal external rotation of the shoulder and it's used in yoga for the cow face pose. So once you've done that you're going to do your reverse prayer and then alternate sides. So we're going to alternate for 12. Our next stretch is a dancing down dog. So you're going to go into down dog and then bring your leg back into a dancer plank. So we're going to alternate for eight. This concludes our dynamic yoga workout for flexibility, balance, and strength. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out one of my other videos on YouTube. I'm Ramos by Elizabeth. And like, subscribe, and share.